babies escaped. Blue was trying to get them to go back in. So far they haven't listened to her. She's standing at the door picking up bits of straw. I think she's trying to call them back in. But they're not listening. straight into the sun so I don't know if I can see if you can see there's blue I'm gonna walk towards these babies and see if they'll go what is it blue? Are you trying to call the babies over to you? Yeah? Oh, she went to try and chase down a bug. Get those babies back in. You went the wrong way. Go that way. This one's getting too fat to go through the, the fence. <laughs> uh, they're back in now, Blue. Yeah, they're back in the house now. A couple of them are getting a little bit too fat to go through that fencing. Yeah. Well, you tell them. I don't want them walking around out here yet. What, are you coming in for a close-up? Hmm? What? I know, they're baby ducks. Let's go look in the window, see what they're doing. Oh, they're back to drinking and eating up. A couple of them are down under the heat lamp. Now they're all going back over there. They said that was enough. 60 degree temps. And there goes Blue. She's going to go back in and check on them. I don't know if you can see popcorn back there, but she's behind blue. She's still on the nest. Oh, that's interesting. The babies went under the shelf there. Hiding, I guess, when blue started tapping on the wall. That must have told them to go into hiding. Birds are very interesting creatures. 
Now the baby duck tapped on the wall. And Popcorn is just sitting back there, minding her own business, laying on the nest. I'm seriously thinking about gambling. Using a little bit of money that I ought not use and buy some turkey eggs. If Popcorn continues to sit, I could either get chicken eggs, which would be about half the price of the turkey eggs, but if I do that, neither of those two turkeys may set again until fall, which means that would be the soonest I would have to put turkey eggs under them, and that means the turkey babies would be raised in the winter rather than having a summer. Um, summer turkey babies so I don't know do I spend twice as much $35, $40 on a, a gamble to put a few eggs turkey eggs underneath um, popcorn then again popcorn may not be set on setting and of course, I just saw her wiggle around and settle back down on her nest, so... Next few days will tell. There's some nice, um, bourbon red turkey eggs up for bid, but they're like $35 for six eggs. So we'll see. I've got till Saturday to decide, and somebody might bid them way up, and then that will that will be the determining factor. Bourbon reds are supposed to be one of your best eating turkeys, so and they can still um, breed naturally. So they're probably my top choice of turkey breeds right now. I know there's the brown and the white that they use in commercial food, but I really did not like the way those those white turkeys, the babies were very weak, and by six months, if it was even six months, it might have only been four months, that turkey could hardly even walk the white broad-breasted white so maybe in some situation I would do about to broad-breasted white just for the meat but only if I had them in the right setting not um, not loose like these guys because You know, while we're on funny things, let's look in my tool shed. And there's Loom, who has made my shelf in my tool shed her nest box. Probably because I have such a messy shelf. Ah, that's what she's decided to use my stuff in the greenhouse is starting to look pretty good garlic's down there are just taken off which is great but it's too cold to start any seeds so I don't really know what I'm doing here I might take that tray with the little spinach on it it's looking a little bit better um, they're starting to put out multiple leaves, so I might just plant those somewhere. Probably in here. Not going to give me much spinach, but it'll... Up, 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 up. Blue came in and swiped some of my garlic. Gotta watch those guys. The celery is 
alive. No, you can forget it. You're not getting anything else in here. Go on. So, 1st of February, and uh, seems to be spring already here. Okay, now I'm definitely going in. I've got to, um, I'm in the middle of Washing winter clothes to get packed away and washing summer clothes to get them all packed or unpacked and hung up and Big project at a weird time of year. Okay, you guys take care. And yeah, you can't tell these Stratospheric uh, What do they call it? Stratospheric something injections, chemtrails. They're disappearing quite quickly behind the um, planes today. I've been watching them going back and forth and back and forth, and they're spreading into this kind of haze, but as you can see, it's disappearing into just a, just a haze right behind the, the jet. They're not staying up long. Well, there's one directly overhead. I don't know if you can even tell what it was a trail just, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. A couple more of them on the horizon. They're just spreading into these weird, I don't know what you call them. But I'll give you a view all the way around. And maybe you can get an idea what it is. I don't know what it is. Who knows what they're doing. Mm. But there are bits of blue sky and that's always nice. So let's see. More craziness going on in the pond. Okay guys, have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.